Now it's time to make our pile high nachos with Scott and Charlotte. And first, Scott's gonna show us how to make some pickled serranos and jalapenos. And later, Charlotte's gonna show us how to stack it up and create this beautiful masterpiece. But Scott, what's the first thing we do? First thing we're gonna do is make our pickling liquid. So we're gonna do uh, just six simple ingredients. So we're gonna do water, rice vinegar, coriander seeds, black pepper, uh, whole black pepper, whole black peppercorns. That's what it's called when you say black peppercorns. <laughs> whole black pepper. You can use anything you want, but it's called black peppercorns. There it is. I'd like okay. to buy a vowel, please. And we're gonna do just salt and sugar. So if you wanna make a okay. sweeter pickle, add more of the sugar and less of the salt. I like to do a, a totally 50-50 ratio right down the center for this recipe. All right, so next we're gonna do is we're gonna slice up our jalapenos. So I've got serranos as well as our jalapenos. This pickling liquid will do anything, really, honestly. Cool. Um, so I'm gonna use our instrument of death here, which is the mandolin. Um, we sell these, it's not really an instrument of death. That's why they give you the guard. But with jalapenos, I like to take risks and just uh, not use the guard at all. You're crazy. The good thing about it. mandolins, as opposed to, uh, to slicing with a knife, is a mandolin, is if it's really, really sharp, which you always want to make sure any cutting utensil is really, really sharp, you don't really have to worry about it slipping. When your mandolin or any other utensil like this gets dull, that's when you have a tendency to slip and it doesn't hit. So and make sure it's sharp. Your finger, make sure it's sharp. And you're going kind of at an angle too. Like I am, yes. Technique. This is more just to kind of make it look a little fancier, so they spread out a little bit. So when you cut them, they're just a little more fancy. Okay. So we can start just slicing those, and I've okay. got some ready to go. All you want to do for the pickling good is just dissolve the salt and sugar. Once that's dissolved, the longer you let the peppercorns and coriander seeds sit, obviously the better it'll be because it'll it'll take more of that flavor up. But honestly, you're just looking for a dissolved salt and sugar, and you're ready to go. You see this? I'm doing it without the guard. Are. I'm getting crazy. No guard. It's, uh, <laughs> getting, you, you gotta draw. take. You know, you gotta take risks. When you pickle something, it actually has a long, like a long shelf. Life on, yes. Right? So we have enough to basically pickle. So I'm gonna, since we got gloves on, we're gonna throw them in the bowl. Okay. And I'm gonna ask you to take our pickling liquid here. Careful, it's still a little bit hot. Okay. Pour it over the top. Normally, if you want to strain this out, you could just pour the liquid out, strain out all the peppercorns. But honestly, I like having the peppercorns yeah. and coriander seeds. It's just gonna, it's just gonna bloom. It's like when you buy pickles and you yeah. see it all floating around. Absolutely. This will do that in a couple hours. You'll have that color because it'll kind of like. And this is what the people. Heat. This is what you're used to. And that's what you see exactly. pickled jalapeno. So, so easy to do, and you're leaving out all those extra chemicals. It's just pickles and. Those are really good. Yeah, Long, Great and, the, job. and the more you, the more you can do any ingredient you want. You can throw garlic, onions, whatever you want. Yeah, I was just saying, you, you, you can get absolutely. wild with it. You absolutely can. The jalapenos and serranos are pickled and ready to go. Thank you so much for hey, getting this going. And me. we're going to be meeting up with Charlotte here in just a little bit in the show, and we're going to assemble the nachos. We're going to pour all the cheese on it. We're going to get gooey with it, and we get oh, yeah. to eat them. I'm so excited. Yeah, I know yeah, it's going to be a big pile of mess. It's be <laughs> awesome.